Hey everyone, I'm back with another video, and today is going to be an unusual one. Today, we're going to be looking at this bag. You can probably assume that this isn't just a regular bag. Um, if you see on the front, there's no zippers. And that's a security feature made by this company, XD Design. It has quick access pockets, adjustable open angles, additional luggage strap, water repellent, YKK zipper, anti-cut, anti-theft, shockproof, road security weight balance, integrated USB charging port, advanced storage design, quick access pockets. I already said that. Okay, uh, this was a quick Kickstarter. Uh, I actually signed up for Kickstarter. It was a while ago. And I got this bag a while ago, I'm just making a review now. So I got the red version, as you can see over here. And this red version has no special features than other every other version. So these have these card pockets. I don't have a card on me right now, but this is where it's just supposed to go. Uh, yeah, the, another one over here. These are for like subway cards, you know, whatever. And down here was made for like passports, wallets, phones, those kind of stuff. And just you know, zipper. I just have small tic tac containers in here, but you know, who cares? Love my, my Apple Watch. So this is a quick access pocket. There are two other ones, one on each side, right here, and another one over here. Uh, I just keep my wallet in here, my secret wallet, and the other one I just tap hand motion. Okay, so that's almost it for the back. Uh, these back air uh, squishy stuff. The foam padding is really nice. Uh, I never, I mean, I do get sweaty on the back, but then you know these kind of help you. And there's this special. USB charging port I will get back to after we go inside of the back. So the, the zippers are hidden behind this little flap which you can undo like that and your bag opens up really, really wide. Uh, you can unzip all the way to the bottom and to there and then same for the other side and you can actually open the bag 180 degree to get the other low current on either side. Okay, now we have a bag open 180 degrees. And if you see that cable right there, that's where the USB port on the other side is connected to. So I just have this uh, chocolate bar power bank connected, it's 12,000 milliamps. It's really thin by the way. Uh, just connect it through there. I just looped into that pocket right there. And that USB port can work with anything that has USB. So I'm just gonna be working with my Apple Watch charger. So let's just put my Apple Watch right there and plug the USB. So I plugged it in, and if you look really closely, it's charging. And if you look at the power bank, it also indicates that it's charging. Okay, so that's it for the, the USB port. And it looks like there's not much space inside of it. But it's because it's all like crammed together. Uh, this has I call this the water bottle a slot because if you get a water bottle you can you can hold it right there and it's really good you can also hold it on this side it fits really snug uh, that's it for the water bottle part or the slots and you can also hold on to some sunglasses like that 
it's probably not safe to put sunglasses in there, but just saying it can. Another thing you can put in are headphones. These are Beats mixers. I got them for cheap for like 180 because they were on sale. You can like put them right there. Close the back and you're good to go. Um, there is an extra pencil pouch up here. Which I have nothing inside of right now, but it just works like that. You can get some marker right now, but you can literally push in there and then it probably won't fall out. That's nice. That's the pencil case. I mean, I'd be happy if they put like some Velcro over here so you can add some parts onto it, but they didn't do that. I mean, I don't care too much about it, but yeah. And I'm gonna put a bunch of stuff in the bag right now. And here. So I have a bunch of PlayStation games. Just gonna put all of them in here. And see how much they can fit. Okay, so how much is this? This is, I think, like 12 PlayStation 4 games. Can fit it perfectly. <coughs> okay, so it fits all those PlayStation 4 games perfectly, and there's still space for a laptop. And last time I unboxed the XPS 13, and this is like a 13 inch laptop. It fits like perfectly. I'm um, pretty sure this pocket can fit up to like a 15 inch laptop. But not just that, it also has a slot for a tablet. And I can put a Lenovo S8 tablet. Yeah, S8. Into that tablet socket. And there's these two straps that you can put over. So they won't move around while it's in your backpack. And then after that, you can close your bag. And there you go. It's not full. You can probably put in a little bit more. But you can tell the size difference from the beginning. It's a little bit more chunkier. And yeah, it's a really safe backpack. I've been using it for like three or four months now. It's really nice and comfortable if you say so if I say so myself. And if you look down here, there's this little their velcro stuff. This is used so that you know how when you tighten up your backpack you want to stay there but there's a possibility of it becoming loose. So they have this feature over here where all you have to do is roll it up. And then you can put the two velcro pieces together and when it does get apart, it'll stop right there. And that's way shorter than if you didn't have the Velcro. Just hanging out like that. And also looks way cleaner. I mean, unless you want these to hang around everywhere. That's, that's it for the backpack. Uh, it's also water resistant. I know. You have the USB port, but then I guess I don't get wet because I'm spacing down there. And also has these little locations right there. They're good for reflecting light, apparently. Uh, 
I have never tried that before, but I guess when it's super dark and you need something to reflect it, that thing can help out. Uh, there's also a black and a gray version of this, and also a dark blue. I got the red. I, in my opinion, it looks nicest. Uh, as you can tell, right here, you can see a little bit, so like some scratches. I'm not exactly sure where they came from, but, you know, I don't really mind that. And one thing that happened to this bag that I fixed, or my mom fixed, was this part right here. If you start using it a lot, this, this uh, seam over here starts ripping. And then you can kind of see the inside of the foam. Uh, um, I guess it's all just me putting a lot of stuff into this backpack. But if you use it safer and safely, it probably won't happen. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please thumbs up and subscribe.